WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside, most of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. Are we ready to work off those oversold conditions? Well, that's what we'll figure out during the Trader's Edge show. But right now, you got the Dow up 83 points, S&P's up 15, NASDAQ 149, Russell's up 7, semis are up 44, gold's off 9 bucks, silver's up 11 pennies, lights recruit is off a buck, natural gas up 4 cents, 30 year Treasury down. Down 21 ticks, printed out 112.27. U.S. dollar index off about 486 pips. I've got a 10 minute delay there, so it's not going to be exactly accurate, but it is trading lower. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin, whoops, that's not it. Here it is. We begin taking a look at the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, one, today we'll complete the nine, the TD9 count pattern. There's also a new profile that is attempting to form. It's fairly narrow. When I mean narrow, it's uh, got support at 4,300 and it's got resistance at 4,416. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That says that sellers are the ones that still have the edge. In the case of the NQ, yesterday it closed back above the B point of this A to B equals CD to the downside. It was only below that level, 14,792.75 for one session. It was on lighter volume. So that A to B equals CD pattern is not going to be in effect unless we see a two closes, let's say, below 14,792.75. The NQ is also going to complete a TD nine count bottom pattern today. And that says if price can get above the bottom of its new profile, that's at 14,771, we're at 14,773 right now, odds would favor a further rally. U.S. dollar index is pulling back. Geez, you have a bearish engulfing candle as we speak right now. Don't know what it'll be like at day zen, but that would confirm a sell the D point top. Goldilocks yesterday confirming an A to B equals CD to the downside. First price projection, 1865.20. We take a look at silver. Silver's made its way all the way back to its TD9 count bottom. If price were to close below 22.58, it would all of a sudden get bearish. If we take a look at light speed crude, even though it's pulling back a bit, it still remains above the top of its daily profile. That's the level price would have to get below to at least suggest some type of further move lower. Watch 91.80. Natural gas, we've got the... Uh, it's got an A to B equals CD to downside. It hasn't quite hit that one-to-one -one price projection target at the 276 level. The price is trying to get back inside its profile. Now, look, folks, this is a bullish structured profile. Counter trend moves would find resistance at 2969. It's trading at 2.950 right now. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, folks. But if you're out to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. The reality is that navigating